Good afternoon, alien enthusiasts. It's time for another 3i Atlas update, and you can expect these things to be happening on a pretty regular basis on this channel because this is an unusual event, to say the least. As a matter of fact, it's a unique event in the history of human astronomy, something that needs to be covered on a regular basis, regardless of what this object might be. But as some of you have probably heard, Hubble has now grabbed the first images of 3i Atlas, and even though this object definitely appears to be a comet, looks can be deceiving because, as you can see from this particular footage, human-made objects can sometimes look very comet-like indeed. And once again, even though the mainstream media and the mainstream scientific community isn't advertising this very much, this particular comet is behaving very strangely indeed. And every new observation that we make of this object, we learn something new that only deepens the mystery of this object and makes some people wonder whether or not it might be here by design. All of this and more coming at you on The Angry Astronaut right now. Good afternoon, alien enthusiasts, and once again, welcome to another Angry Bulletin, and we are just giving you a brief update on 3i Atlas today. It's not going to be a particularly long video, but I'd like to ask all of you for a favor. This footage was created by the legendary Digital Voodoo, and he also does the music for the vast majority of my videos as well, and he's currently redesigning this artificial concept for 3i Atlas to more closely match what we've seen through the telescopes thus far. And this guy does all of this work for my channel for no charge whatsoever. At the very least, what we might do is subscribe to his channel and get him to that 1,000 subscriber milestone. And that's an easy thing to do. Just head to the description and take it from there. So first, let's go ahead and quote from a relatively new article from Dr. Avi Loeb as he addresses the comet-like appearance of 3i Atlas. Quote, images of the new interstellar object show a slight elongation along its direction of motion. However, the elongation beyond the angular width of background stars, the so-called point spread function, is exactly at the level expected from multiplying the object's speed of 60 kilometers per second by the exposure time of the telescope scope by about 100 seconds. This elongation is not mitigated by centering on the object's image and letting the background stars move relative to it. It results from the fact that a single snapshot of the image takes 100 seconds and the removal of distortions introduced by its acceleration is not perfect. The product of this exposure time and the speed of 3i Atlas yields a scale on the order of 6,000 kilometers comparable to Earth's radius extending over an angle of two arc seconds in the sky given the object's distance of 4.5 times the Earth-Sun celebration. Uh, separation. While 3i Atlas may well be a comet, this elongation should not be taken as evidence for its cometary tail. And so far, spectroscopic data on 3i Atlas does not reveal the spectral features of cometary gas, but only show reddening of reflected sunlight consistent with a compact dust cloud or the surface of the object. But let's go ahead and quote from other articles about this topic instead of relying exclusively on Avi Loeb and see what they have to say. The Rubin Observatory gathered a lot of information about 3i Atlas before it was even recognized as an interstellar object. In a well-timed coincidence, this is according to the debrief.org, astronomers at the Rubin Observatory succeeded in capturing 3i Atlas in high-resolution images several days before the discovery was officially announced, offering the earliest and most detailed observations of the object 
to date as astronomers continue to amass data about it. The surprise discovery from the Rubin team is reported in a new paper which reveals that by late June, Rubin was already obtaining imagery that revealed the interstellar object during the new observatory's science validation phase. The newly discovered images from Rubin offer the first high-resolution views of 3i Atlas, despite being obtained days before astronomers became aware of the object, and even prior to the telescope's inaugural first-look images, which it released on June 23rd. Pretty remarkable coincidence here. So, serendipitously, the Rubin Observatory collected imaging in the area of the sky inhabited by the object during regular commissioning activities, according to the authors of the new study. We successfully recover object detections from Rubin visits spanning at Universal Time 2025 on the 21st of June, 10 days before its discovery, until July 7th, with help from Rubin's 8.4 meter survey telescope and a 3.2 gigapixel legacy survey of space and time camera. 49 images of 3i Atlas were obtained, 37 of which were used in the new study. Now, here's the interesting stuff that was discovered. There's so many things about this object that have been unusual thus far, but there were new surprises in the new imagery, including a sunward facing cometary tail. That's right. This particular animation demonstrating the movement of 3i Atlas through the solar system if it were a comet is actually incorrect. The tail faces towards the sun, not away from the sun, assuming that the tail exists at all. While such morphology is certainly unusual, given that dust, dust tails are typically directed anti-solar due to radiation pressure acting on dust grains, it is not without precedent among distant active bodies, according to the authors of the new paper. Well, perhaps that's true, but this is just one more bizarre thing about this object, especially given how fast this object is blazing through the solar system. The notion that the tail is still advancing ahead of it as opposed to being left behind is very strange indeed. Now this feature is very rare but it's been observed before such as in Comet C 2014-UN-271 and the team reports that additional modeling of 3i Atlas shows that if dust were ejected evenly in all directions this would result in a tail pointing away from the sun. By contrast the sunward orientation of the object's tail is strongly suggestive of what astronomers call anisotropic dust emission, which likely arises from material being heated and lifting off the sunlit side of 3i Atlas. However, once again, this material must be getting heated up quite a bit because it has to be moving at a tremendous velocity relative to the speed of the object creating it. Now, another possibility is that in some cases, sunward facing tails could be caused by gas jets, blasting both dust and sublimation ice away from the comet. However, in the spectroscopic observations made on July 3rd, 2025, no gas emissions have been obtained from the object, meaning that dust emission seems to be the only explanation, but that just makes this object even more unusual and bizarre than it already is. And there's even more surprises. Based on Rubin's measurements, astronomers now believe that the comet's nucleus, if this is a comet, is approximately 5.6 plus or minus 0.7 kilometers in radius. We're talking 11 kilometers in diameter or about 7 miles, displaying no obvious signs of non-gravitational acceleration thus far, but that isn't to say that such effects might not ever Ever begin to manifest. So once again, we're talking about an object that is at least 11 kilometers in diameter. That's just 
way too huge. An object like this should be incredibly rare in interstellar space, given how unusual interstellar objects seem to be. This is so much bigger than either 2i Borisov or Oumuamua, and we have only seen one of each of those objects thus far over the course of the last eight or so years. So let's pile up all of 3i Atlas's bizarre characteristics. First of all, its path through the solar system. Look how close this object comes to Mars. It seems to be taking a tour of the solar system, passing less than 0.2 astronomical units away from the red planet, and also substantially less than one astronomical unit away from Venus, giving it an opportunity to dispatch probes to both planets, utilizing things that are no more aggressive or ambitious than intercontinental ballistic missiles. Primitive technology could accomplish that. And then again, it passes insanely close to the planet Jupiter as well, as if it were doing all of this by design. The odds against all three of these planets just happening to intersect with a random object passing through the solar system is tens of thousands to one, and that's speaking conservatively. Then we also need to add in the factor that this object has this strange sunward pointing tail, and also it's so utterly huge, bizarrely huge, given how unusual interstellar objects objects are. We should have seen thousands, perhaps millions of muamua sized objects pass through the inner solar system before an object as gigantic as 3i Atlas should have passed through our solar system. Sure, it's not beyond the realm of possibility that all of these highly unlikely things might be happening anyway just by random chance, but given how unlikely this scenario is, and given how many new and unusual qualities we keep discovering about this object, it is very much in our interest to keep it under very close observation because it might not be a comet at all. Now, I know some of you are beginning to shake your heads in despair, wondering where the hell I'm coming from, wondering how I could possibly believe that this thing is anything other than a comet, but all you need to do is have a look at a very comet-like artificial object to get what I'm talking about here, as I mentioned in the beginning of the episode. And once again, these sorts of things confuse even experienced photographers. Yeah, I, yeah, I can talk about it. I have no idea what it is. Yeah, I'm rolling on it. Oh my gosh, what is that? What is that? Well, as many of you probably know, that is a Falcon 9 rocket on its way to space, having been observed by a news chopper over Arizona. It's unusual that we actually get an opportunity to see Falcon 9s flying over Arizona, but it does happen from time to time. And of course, this effect is being created by the rocket's engines. What if we are seeing the same thing with 3i Atlas? What if the reason that we're seeing a sunward pointing tail is because this object is applying braking thrust as it is heading into the solar system. Or, since we're not seeing any evidence of non-gravitational acceleration or deceleration, at least not yet, perhaps this object is utilizing its engines to stabilize it. In other words, these are maneuvering thrusters changing its trajectory just slightly to make sure that it stays on its course. Well, if this thing starts slowing down, at least significantly, then we're going to have to completely rethink what we believe about this object. Unfortunately, if it only slows down slightly, that's going to be attributed to natural outgassing that's typical of comets. It will need to have a significant deceleration or acceleration before the mainstream scientific community really starts seriously looking at this object as being anything other than a comet. But 
I continue to maintain that even though this object may very well be a comet, as a matter of fact, I think it's likely that it's a comet, we should not be discarding an artificial explanation. If we do, we might be putting our planet in our civilization in undue jeopardy. Thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Also remember, we are celebrating our 200th subscriber. We have some merchandise associated with that, and I'm also releasing a brand new exclusive video for alien fans on my Patreon library. That's gonna be done in the next 24 hours. If you're interested in supporting me on Patreon, all the details are in the description. Thanks again for watching, and until next time, stay angry about space.